Have you guys ever been really excited to QCS2? Yeah, me either. But have you guys ever tried to QCS2 and then this happens? Well, in this video, I'm gonna make sure that you never have this issue again and that you can fix it every single time that you see it. In this video, I'm gonna be going over every possible fix, any possible antidote for anyone who has gotten this issue. So just stay tuned, do every single thing that I do, and I guarantee that this won't be a problem by the end of the video. Now the first and most common fix, and this will probably fix it for actually zero of you if you are googling a fix to this, because I imagine you have already tried to restart your game, okay? But after you watch this video and you finish it, and it is fixed, next time you see this, you probably don't have to do whatever you did this time, you can just restart your game, and that will probably fix it, okay? Now the next fix, which I imagine many of you have done, but I'm still gonna go over it anyways, is you should try to restart your computer. And you shouldn't restart your computer using Windows, okay? You should just hold down the power button for five to six seconds so that your computer fully shuts off and, you know, then you just turn it back on with the same power button you pressed to turn it off. Now, if that doesn't fix it, this is where we start getting into the weeds of it and really start breaking down how to fix this issue if you've been having it for, you know, maybe more than 15 minutes. Now the next fix, and this is probably the most likely fix if you've already restarted your computer in the game, you just need to verify your game files. So you're going to right click on CS2, click on properties, click on installed files right here, and then you're going to click verify integrity of game files. Now if you've done all of that and it still isn't working, I regret to inform you that your computer has a very rare illness, however it is curable. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is hit Windows and then R. I'm imagining you're on a Windows computer, if you're not, you can try to find a way to do what I'm doing through the terminal or something, maybe ask ChatGBT after you're done watching the video of course. Now you're going to do Windows and R, if for some reason you can't do that you can right click here and then press run just like that. Now you're going to need to find where your Steam is stored, okay, for some people this might be very easy, for some people they have no clue where their Steam is stored and that is completely okay. I'm going to make sure that you know where your Steam is stored, okay. For most people, your Steam is probably going to be installed into your Program Files 86. If you click on this computer, local disk, and then click on Program Files 86, you will probably find Steam somewhere in here. However, if it is not in there, don't fret, we're just going to right click CS2, click manage, and then click browse local files. Then we're going to click on this path to Steam, okay? Now we can scroll around until we find steam.exe, we're just going to confirm that steam.exe is in fact in there, and then we're going to type backslash and then steam.exe, just like so. Then we're going to make sure to copy that text and open up the run window once again and then you're gonna paste that in there, and then you're gonna put a space, and then you're gonna type forward slash repair, okay? Then you hit enter. Then a spooky command prompt window is gonna open. Just don't do anything. It's gonna close itself when it's done. Now you can just launch CS2 immediately after, but I do recommend just restarting your computer just to make sure that there's nothing going on in the background. And speaking of things going on in the background, that could be the very reason why you're getting this issue. Make sure that you have absolutely everything closed. I know that it could be silly, okay? It could be something like Skype, okay? If you have Skype, you got old Skype on your computer for some reason, okay? That, that could be causing it, all right? So just make sure that you don't have any weird things running, okay? It could, it, I've even known the face it anti-cheat to cause stuff like this, okay? So just be careful. Just make sure that you're not running anything that would be causing this, okay? And th Things that you would not expect to cause this will cause this. So just go close everything. Make sure that everything is just, we want, we want CS2 in a vacuum, okay? Just CS2 and that's it. Make sure that that is not what your problem is, okay? Because if that is your problem, then you're, you're going to want to make sure that you, you know, remove Skype from your Windows startup, okay? Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you are a regular viewer of this channel, I want to let you know that that three-hour video that I was talking about, well, the timeline is a little bit under 19 hours right now. So let's let's just, I'm not going to elaborate, okay? I got to cut it down a little bit more, but that's that's a long video, okay? I'll, I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys in a few weeks, okay?